Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from NYYNews.com. And what do you know? This is my second video of the day. Because originally, my original video was going to be about Todd Frazier signing with the New York Mets. And no, I'm not talking about the news that just broke a couple hours ago. I'm talking about predicting it. You see, we had a little bit of fun today on Twitter. We had a little bit of fun today on the MLB forums. I'll leave the links in the description bar below. I was the first, along with a on-the-ground source, to report that the Mets were going to sign Todd Frazier today. Yeah. You want to know why I didn't share it on YouTube? Because I was in the process of uploading it. And at the same time, I was getting a whole bunch of backlash on Twitter. Oh, here's NYY News making stuff up again when I haven't even been wrong this offseason yet. Here he goes making it up. Then I had to go back and forth with uh, this particular click on Twitter. that are made out of maybe 10 people, but they're going around harassing and attempting to bully fellow Yankee fans on Twitter. So I spent a good two hours or a little bit less than that just going not even going back and forth but just reading all these demented lunatics on twitter and what do you know within all the chaos ken rosenthal reports the mets just signed todd frazier i broke the news as early as let's say 11 a.m today when i got in communication with the on the ground source over there in florida then Around 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., I started pushing it hard. And then around, let's say, 7 p.m. today, that's when the news dropped that the Mets signed Frazier. Then, yeah, like clockwork out of nowhere, all these naysayers just tweet me and say, oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'm going to take the opportunity now to mention one of these clowns because I was ignoring them. They tried a couple of weeks ago attempting to send their followers to attack Salmonetti's source. And then just as early as today, the same individual started with me and attempted to send his followers to attack me because I was reporting that the Mets were going to sign Frazier today. Yeah, his name is John Boy, and he has a podcast by the name of Talking Yanks. So, if you guys listen to him, I highly recommend that you don't because he's very unprofessional. And he likes to, I don't know, be a wannabe cyber bully online. I would take what that guy says with a grain of salt. Obviously, when he started with me, I researched him and heard his podcast. And I said, wow, this guy obviously doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to the Yankees. No wonder. He is attempting to harass me because I put out that Todd Frazier was going to sign with the Mets today. So if you're subscribed to him or following him on Twitter, unsub and unfollow him. He's just a clown. And if you saw what he was attempting to do today, it just proves my point that he's a wannabe cyber bully. And yeah, you shouldn't take him seriously. People in Yankees universe, just unsub and forget that guy. So before I play the audio, the original video that I was going to upload. Here's what the Yankees are going to do now, now that Todd Frazier has signed with the New York Mets. Yes, Dan Duquette's phone is blowing up right now. A third baseman has been taken off of the market. Other names that I've mentioned, Johan Carmargo. He's maybe a possibility, a switch hitter third baseman who's just developing. Mike Moustakas, I don't see him signing with the New York Yankees for one year, as I said in my previous video. The only option, and like I said in my other video, they're not going to play Andahor at third base to start the season. Danny Espinosa, they picked him up to back up Torres at second. You haven't seen the Yankees do anything at third. So, what am I trying to say here? The Yankees and the Orioles, maybe including the Diamondbacks, 
are going to participate in a blockbuster where the New York Yankees obtained Manny Machado, the Diamondbacks get Ellsbury, and a closer, and the Orioles get starting pitching. And a whole bunch of prospects go here and there. That's a high possibility now that Frazier has signed with the Mets. Also, expect the Yankees to go on overdrive to make moves after Todd Frazier signed with the Mets. It was going to happen last week. Todd Frazier was close to accepting that same deal with the Mets just a week ago. This is why I came out and said Ellsbury is gone. It's imminent. So now, yes, it was a week early, but now expect that to happen. Ellsbury is about to be shipped out of New York. That is how the Yankees are going to counter the Mets signing Tall Frazier. Obviously, they wanted to sign Tall Frazier for one year. Again, proving the fact that the Yankees are targeting Manny Machado for 2019. And if they can't get him now, before the season starts, they might get a discount. They might get a discount when signing Manny Machado. Getting a taste of New York, possibly winning the World Series or coming close to it, you might see him take a discount when signing with the New York Yankees in 2019. And it might be earlier than that. It might be in December of 2018. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my original video that I was going to upload around 4 p.m. today before that little click on Twitter of John Boy, etc., that clown, decided to try to gang stalk me but miserably failed. Here's my original video. Enjoy it. Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from NYNews.com. Have some exclusive information for you. An individual, as I like to research and like to look where others don't. Today, I ran into an individual that lives in West Palm Beach, Florida. So get this. I investigated the guy. He's legit. His story holds weight. This is what he said. I'm going to read his tweets to you. This is his first tweet. He said, Frazier will be a NY Met today. Hashtag Mets. I have a great source. Then he said, he replied to somebody else. He said, I just met his dad in Mets camp in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And then he replies to the person again. He says, his dad showed up speaking with security, asking directions for some rental community nearby. I was right next to them during the whole conversation. Then he replies to the individual again. He said, maybe the rental is for Todd. Here's his other tweet. He said, his dad said, we won't know today, but it's never a guarantee until it happens. And here's what he tweeted five minutes ago. He says, I don't know, question mark. I'm just going off of what I heard his dad say. We should know by today, like I've said in other tweets, it's legit. With this guy being his father. And the conversation happened. But I cannot guarantee anything beyond what I heard. Like I said, I looked into the claims. It took me an hour or maybe two hours. I confirmed that the guy was a real person, his location, etc., Another thing to mention, Todd Frazier, if you follow him on social media and take a look at his family, you will see that his children are the same ages of their other family members, like Todd's nephews, etc. So it was the most logical thing for Todd Frazier to sign with the Mets. I highly doubt he's going to take one year with the Yankees, because if he does take one year, that offer to play on the Mets might not be there in 2019. And we all know the Yankees are heavy favorites in landing Manny Machado. But let's say if Todd Frazier does sign with the Mets, which is highly possible at this point with the on-the-ground sources, what are the Yankees going to do when it comes to third base? I highly doubt they're going to play Andahar to even start the season. Like I said numerous times, and like others have repeated, Andahar defensively is not a finished product yet. 
And if you paid attention, the Yankees signed a backup for second base with Danny Espinosa. They have not done it with third base yet. So it has to make you wonder what the Yankees' plans are for third base if they're not signing Todd Frazier. Will they sign a Moustakas? I highly doubt it because that's another player that is going to have to sign for one year. Maybe, like I said, if there wasn't a log jam in the outfield with all these outfielders, maybe he would sign a Mike Moustakas and guarantee him playing time in DH. But we know that's not the case now with John Carlos Stanton on the team. So it really has to make you wonder when you hear GMs like Dan Duquette come out and say, hey, in 2018, we're going to obtain starting pitching to start the season with, and he hasn't done that yet. It just has to make you wonder if the Orioles and the Yankees have something up their sleeves when it comes to making a trade. Because like I said, Dan Duquette numerous times has repeated the same thing, saying we're going to get starting pitching just as recent as two weeks ago in uh, Orioles Fan Fest where Manny Machado skipped out on that and Dan Duquette and Showalter expressed their displeasure with Machado. This is why you saw, oh, we're going to move him to shortstop because Manny Machado is becoming disgruntled. So, like I said, pay attention on that front, what the Yankees are going to do concerning third base. Also, on the U Darvish front, the New York Yankees are still in talks in moving Jacoby Ellsbury. Like I keep telling people, Jacoby Ellsbury will not be a New York Yankee in 2018. They will move him. Look at all these free agents that are still out there. Patience, my friends, patience. The Yankees have said internally that they are going to sign a pitcher via free agency. So still expect them to sign one of these big names via free agency. I'll be shocked if the Yankees don't move money to get a starting pitcher. So like I said, guys, I did my proper investigations. I looked into this guy's claims. He's a real person. What he says that Todd Frazier's father is in the area happens to be true. I don't know, guys. Just hang tight. Be patient and stay tuned to nyynews.com. This has been Felix. Like, share, and subscribe. I will check you out as soon as news hits. News hits.